part 2 starts from here. Before plotting the graph, two important things I would like to tell you is that whenever there is rise in temperature, I will be drawing a slope here, which represents there is rise in temperature. And uh, whenever there is no rise in temperature, only the state is changing, I will draw the horizontal line. Because the horizontal line represents there is change in the state but there is no rise in temperature. So now first of all uh, let us plot the graph uh, when the ice gains heat and the temperature of the ice changes from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius. The initial uh, temperature is minus 40 degrees Celsius which we have written here this is minus 40 degrees Celsius so the temp it has gained heat and the temperature has risen and it reaches at 0 degree Celsius so this points represent 0 degree Celsius this point I have taken as O and this point I have taken as A so uh, the change in the temperature from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 0 degree Celsius is represented by uh, this line OA. Uh, the ice is at 0 degrees Celsius so now we have to uh, draw uh, the phase representing the melting process of ice that is from 0 degree ice to 0 degree water. So there is no change in the temperature here so I have just drawn an horizontal line at 0 degree Celsius. So this was O, this is A and I'm representing this B. So the phase or the line uh, which represents the change of the state from ice to water is given by AB and this represents the melting process. And if we talk about the heat, so in this case heat will be uh, MC zero uh, degree Celsius minus minus 40 degree Celsius and in this case it will be M into latent heat of fusion. Now the water is at zero degree Celsius. On further heating the temperature of water will rise to 100 degree Celsius. So let us plot that graph. You can see in this graph that we have covered this phase and this phase. Now on further heating the temperature will rise from 0 degree Celsius to here 100 degree Celsius. Let me represent this as uh, C. So at this point the water is at 100 degree Celsius. So uh, the change in temperature of water from 0 degree Celsius to 100 degree Celsius is represented by the graph BC. Now let's draw the graph when the water changes to steam at 100 degrees Celsius that means there is no rise in temperature. So you can see here as there is no rise in temperature at 100 degrees Celsius the water is changing into steam so we have a horizontal line uh, here. So if I just draw we have uh, say solid here we have solid then we have a liquid here that is water and we have a liquid here that is water and then we have a gas here that is steam. So uh, the change of phase uh, that is the change of water into steam which represents the process of boiling is given by the phase uh, let me write it as CD. CD. And if we talk about the heat absorbed, in this case it will be MC delta T which is T2 minus T1 which is 100 degree Celsius minus 0 degree Celsius. And in this case as there is change in state from water to steam, so the heat absorbed is given as M into latent heat of vaporization. On further heating, the temperature of the steam will rise from 100 degrees Celsius to 140 degrees Celsius. You can see here that the temperature is rising and it has reached to 140 degrees Celsius. And uh, uh, here, uh, let us make it as E. And the heat gained in this process will be Q is equal to MC uh, delta T, which is 
T2 minus T1, which is equals to 140 degrees Celsius minus 100 degrees Celsius. So here uh, we have finished the graph starting from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 140 degrees Celsius, and uh, we have uh, mentioned the phases also. Just as a review, uh, I will just write them quickly at one go. So let me review it quickly. Uh, this OA represents rise in temperature from uh, minus 40 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius and there is no change in state and the heat is given by MC delta T. This AB phase represents the process of melting, that is, conversion of ice at 0 degree Celsius to water at 0 degree Celsius. And in uh, this phase, there is change in state. Now, the BC phase, there is rise in temperature from uh, 0 degree Celsius to 100 degree Celsius there is no change in state and the heat will be given by MC delta T. Now this one CD. Uh, in CD this represents the process of boiling as water is changing into steam that is water at 100 degrees Celsius is changing into steam at 100 degree Celsius so yes obviously there is change in state and this uh, DE part I'm writing here this represents rise in temperature from 100 degree Celsius to 140 degree Celsius there is no change in state and the heat absorbed is given as MC delta T so this was the heating curve of ice from minus 40 degree Celsius to 140 degrees Celsius. So uh, all you have to remember is that whenever we have a slope then there is rise in temperature and uh, whenever we have a horizontal line there is no rise in temperature there is just change in state. This is the reason why in this phase which represents the melting process the heat absorbed is given by M into latent heat of fusion and the phase where it represents the boiling process the heat absorbed is given by M into latent heat of vaporization. So that was all about the heating curve of ice. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos you can visit our website transelearning.com. Have a great day.